Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Previously, we began the search for a loft wing and got a practice sword along the way. Today, we'll be heading to the waterfall, which is the only potential location we found out where a loft wing could be. With sword in hand and everything, of course. So to get to the waterfall, just take a left after going, after exiting the, the Night Academy. And it's gonna be on the other side of these four platforms. I see an old man there near that statue. Wonder what he's got to say. Look at this thing. Who knows how long the statue has been here? And it only has one eye. Poor thing. You probably noticed, oh, he's just reminding us how we can look at first person. Thanks a lot, dude. I wonder, yep. A blue ruby was right in this tree. Makes up for the one that uh, other tree did a deposit earlier. And apparently, our bird is somewhere on the other side of this cave. Waterfall cave, beware of blood sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Well, the rules will apply to us since we're the hero of this story, of course. Now, to my memory, there is no music that's being played in this area, so I'm probably gonna slice something in. Just to create some sort of ambiance. I do have something to mind. So this waterfall cave is pretty much a, a mini dungeon of sorts. The only thing that's worth finding here is this treasure chest, which if we open it, has a red rupee inside. So that's pretty good. Every little bit helps, in my opinion. We go back, there's some more bats we can slice down. The only enemies that you'll find in this dungeon are, well, I guess I use the term dungeon loosely. Right before we got a text box for a green ruby. Well, to be fair, we haven't picked one up yet. At least not until this point. The, as, I, as I was trying to say, the only monsters that we'll be finding in this, in this mini dungeon of sorts is the Keys and Choo Choo, staple enemies of the Zelda games. But, probably unlike most games, Enemies actually do carry something uh, that we can use later on. Depends on if they can uh, drop what I'm looking for or not. Uh, I'm not sure there's a certain drop rate in the item that I'm trying to uh, spawn. So I've just got to hope for the best. Slice you. Slice you. One thing you should worry about Choo Choo is that if there's multiple small Choo Choo together, they can actually form together to create bigger ones, but all it takes is just more slices to to cut them, at, cut them apart, so it's nothing special. The case is the ones you should really worry about, since they can well damage you and all. We head over to this patch of grass, there's more red rupees here, two more inside this little cave, or at least a little hole. Get this one last case, I wonder if you'll drop me what I'm looking for. Aha, he did. This is a monster claw. This extremely sharp claw looks painful to even touch. What we just found was our first treasure. I won't get to what they could do, but there's plenty of these around the world and they'll be very useful to us. But like I said, I'll get into a little later because it's too early in the game to show what they can do. Plus, we can't use anything for them right now. So here's some hearts and another bird statue in case you need to save. And it looks like Zelda's finally meeting up with us again. Hey Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sound of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruz and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who... Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Lake. Uh, I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Uh, Zelda, I think you might need to get a little help. You might be hearing voices, and that's not a good thing. It's just just a hunch, really. 
Look, there he is. No doubt about it, that's your off wing link. So I really need to just try to teach you how to angle your strikes a little more. Just cut down these ropes and you'll save your loft wing in no time. And I'm just I'm saying that I'm taking a longer longer than I should have. And there we go. Our loft wing is free. We should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I had to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, or that there's nothing at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings can't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help but matching the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lake. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you this time for sure. Well, at least we jumped off the ledge on our own volition this time. You saw the pushiest last time? That was pretty rude if I have to say, have to, if I do say so myself. But let's press down the D-pad and did some unlawfully weak spots. And just like that, we're off. So now we've got some even more tutorial going on, this time to control our loft wing, of course. So let's go through the basics. We can tilt left and right by tilting the Wiimote. And if we want to speed up, just swing the Wiimote up to gain some altitude. Then point it down to go to a fast time. This will help you get your loft wing up to top speed. So how is he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? While running your loft wing, you can press 2 at any time to go over the basic controls again, just like you can do in any situation. You can also press A to do a charge attack, which will give us a burst of speed, and it's also an attack. B is pretty much our break. So we'll just fly around for a few more moments to test out these new mechanics. And it seems our loft wing is fine. Let's wait for a few more seconds until uh, Zelda talks. There it is. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Lake, but your loft wings look like, looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your birds, so let's go give them the good news. <laughs> your loft wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is that you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and that dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race war was me and that the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. 
We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay for you. I don't get it. The big plate gets special treatment. You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't think we have a nose to smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Grish has been going on forever. How about he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda? He's really got his pompadour to ruffle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust on this adorable little fancy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching that. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. No one is stopping me as Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Griffs. Psst. Griffs. Behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... Yeah. <laughs> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> I, uh, nothing big really, just, uh, just... Link, yeah, I was just telling my buddy Link how glad I was that he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anywho, later Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling up all the dangerous moves. I like the music in this scene. Bruce just never seems to shut up, does he? Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Yeah, of course I do. That's the spirit, Lake. Trust me, you can win this. Nice. The wig ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wig ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you bout your... once you're the air? Once you're in the air, mount your loft wig. Remember to call your bird properly with down while down off the ledge, of course. Whoever catches this bird and claims the statue with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think, but do you need to hear them again? Nope. Excellent. As you well know, today's champ will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 20th, scratch that, 30th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate this, this occasion, today's champion will, shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear, I hear the young woman performing the role this year has crafted the gift herself. 
And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... The lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Go! Wait, what happened already said? That's how these things usually go. Ah well, we're in the air, and the competition has begun. And really, this whole wing ceremony they've been building up to this point, it's not very hard. All you have to do is just get your bird up to top speed and fly to and fly close to the yellow bird. Also use your charge attack to get there faster. Oh Bruce, wow, he just bugged me. I didn't think he would do that. I'm usually able to get ahead of Groose to close to the, to the yellow bird. Guess I sh It's not gonna be that easy. Get a few charge attacks in. Okay, I'm just getting too close. There we go. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Of course, it's never that easy. Groose is gonna bump us away from the bird. And now we've got eggs being thrown at us. They don't really damage you at all. They're just gonna slow you down. Huh? Just once again you get your bird up to top speed and get close to the yellow bird. Like I said it's not that difficult. It usually takes some time just getting close to the yellow bird. That's really the important part of this whole thing. Huh? And probably the toughest one too if you go too fast and miss your mark. Huh? Close. Almost there. I need a Groose. Ow! But me again, I was actually close to the yellow bird too. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, go figure. Come on. Missed my mark again. This is taking so much longer than I expected. It's kind of embarrassing, really. There we go. We finally got the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Link! <laughs> Holy crap, that face! That is what's very terrifying, in my opinion. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great flying, Link. Congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Link, hand me that bird statue that you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Great Goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during the, cer the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the Goddess upon you. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft the sail, which I now pass on to you. And we've got the sail cloth. Now we can jump off from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice too. 
Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding is the same one. I've been working hard to finish it to make it a sailcloth in time to give to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Link. <laughs> now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Well, considering I've played this game before, yeah, I've got a clue. <laughs> I'm so glad you're well informed on the subject, Link. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. Look down. See that big round design in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press B to open your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you are really fearless, you'd wait till the last second. So, ready to jump? Again with the pushing! This is not constituted as jumping! Also, every shipper's wish to see those two kiss at that moment was completely denied. And not really the last moment, but I guess I'll have to do. That was perfect! You're amazing, Link! <laughs> you know, Link, seeing as, seeing as how you won today... And with the weather being so nice... You think you maybe like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? <laughs> Lake! Hey, Lake! Today was amazing! Watching you win the race and perform the ritual together, I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Link? There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is that? What's going on? Link? I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link.
Ah, you're awake. Ooh. When your Lothwig carried you back, you were lip and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we could be grateful. <laughs> but Lake, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Black tornado, you say? Hmm, that was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? See, she was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. Ooh. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Lothwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl at her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> 